Breakfast tea and bourbon. To all the searchers, Pete Bissonette, cheers. By the way, I don't drink. Smooth. It's not bad. switch of coffee to that <clears throat> it's pretty good <coughs> let me look here it's a nice bottle huh buffalo trace kentucky straight bourbon whiskey 45 percent alcohol that's 90 proof i drank this whole bottle i bet i'd know where the treasure was anyway breakfast tea and bourbon i have the book on kindle so I can't show you the things as I go through these clues. And the other thing is, in Kindle, you have locations. You don't have page numbers. So what I'm going to have to do is just give you the chapter. And then you can look up in that chapter what I'm referencing as we go through this. So I've talked to some people about Breakfast Tea and Bourbon. People seem, seem to have really enjoyed the book. And uh, yeah, they're all about finding where this thing is that Pete hid. So I've been watching interviews with Pete and interviews that were done before the book was released because I'm trying to figure out how we go about finding the treasure. He says if you follow the instructions, I guess you could say, in the book, it'll take you within six inches, six to 12 inches of the treasure. And he says there's no tools necessary. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I guess it's not buried since we don't need a shovel. Maybe it's covered, maybe it's in a tree. Since we don't know what it is, we really don't know how he buried it. Um, some people did want me to mention that there is supposed to be a video of him hiding the treasure. And for whatever reason, he has not released that video yet. Some people thought as soon as they signed up on the website, they would get that video. Um, what I've heard is his plan was to release the video very blurry. And then from time to time to release a clearer and clearer and clearer version of the video of him hiding the treasure. And then at the very end, it would be clear enough to where we could see at least the surroundings. I don't know if watching that video would um, let somebody know that's in the vicinity where he hid it or in the proper location. Without seeing the video, I don't know. But uh, there's also a phone number, which I thought was a really neat idea for a treasure hunt. There's a phone number you can find on his breakfast tea and bourbon website where he wants you to call and leave a message on where you've searched how you've searched how you like the book um where you think it is and he beeps out all the important information as far as clues and he uh whew. Mm. and he uh <coughs> clearing my sinuses up over here he what was I talking about? Oh, the phone number. <clears throat> Sorry, it's going to be an interesting video if I keep drinking this. Um, the phone number, he wants you to call <coughs> and let him know where you searched. <laughs> Did I mention I don't drink? Yeah. I don't know how good of an idea this was. What a time to be out of coffee. <clears throat> so, breakfast tea and bourbon. He said in these videos that I've watched that there are 14, 15, 16 clues to the city. Now, he said the city is where, where the treasure is located. I've heard him say those exact words, 14, 15 clues to where the treasure is located. And then I've also heard him say 14, 15 clues to the city where you start to look for the treasure. The book, if you don't know, is about five friends that go looking for a treasure. What we're supposed to do is discover what the city is by the clues and then follow the same route that those five people took in the book and that will lead us to the treasure that Pete Bissonette hid. So there's a lot of clues, a lot of obvious clues to one city. There's some obvious and not so obvious clues to another city. And then I've talked to several people who come up with who have come up with cities that are not referenced in the book at all from what I can tell so it's kind of interesting um, 
But I watched Pete in those interviews, and to me, you watch somebody in an interview, their body language, you watch what they're saying, of course, you watch how they act, and you kind of get an idea of what, if they're telling the truth or not, or if they're telling, sometimes you glean a little information from how they, uh, how they talk. So, what I thought we would do is let's try and find the 14, 15, 16 clues to the city. It would be a good place to start, right? Instead of getting into the, tr to the route that the people in the book took and the actual path to the treasure, let's just stick with trying to discern the clues to the starting city. Or the city where the treasure is located, because I've heard them say it both ways. And in the next video, I'll post links and uh, to these videos, these interviews he did, and you guys can judge for yourself. Um, so the very first sentence of the book references is a clue to a city. In uh, in my opinion, the very first sentence of the book says I um, I don't have it with me because it's on Kindle, but it says something to the effect of. I'm going to call my street Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is in quotation marks. There's one Bourbon Street in the U.S. that I know of, one very famous Bourbon Street. You know where it is, just like I do. So there's clue number one, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish this bad boy. Definitely a sipping whiskey. Do not guzzle that at all. So, <clears throat> is it hot in here, or is that just me? So, Bourbon Street, clue number one. The other thing that I think is pretty obvious uh, to most of you who have read the book is the there's four names in the book that are anagrams, and I'm going to show you what they anagram to. Now, one thing I've thought of is that Pete's clever. You know, Pete had a treasure hunting book out in the 80s. I haven't read it. But uh, and nobody found it. And in an interview, he explains why it was not found. But he's already done a treasure hunting book, so he's not new to this. It was 30 years ago, but still. Um, I think Pete's clever. So a lot of these clues to this city, people are telling me it's too obvious. There's nothing hard about figuring out this city. And I agree. I don't think it is hard to find the city. The hard part is finding the actual treasure. But we'll go over it. We're going to look at the clues that I think point to this one city, and then we're going to look at clues that point to other cities. And maybe together we can, uh, we can have a discussion, you know, in the comments, and uh, try and figure it out. So, Bourbon Street's clue number one, as far as I'm concerned. And clue two, three, four, and five are these right here. Okay, I had to change. I got real hot all of a sudden. Here are the names and the anagrams. Oh, something else. I got a bone to pick with Michael's. You know Michael's, the arts and crafts store? Yeah. Oh, I bought three bags of letters. These letters I'm about to show you for this, this anagram thing. I bought three bags of letters. No letter K in all three bags. How is that possible? Come on, Michaels. Really? I already opened the bags to go through the letters, so how am I supposed to take it back? So I got no letter K. If you look in the intro to the video, look at the K. You'll see what I had to do. So if anybody out there has got a Scrabble game, you know, the old Scrabble game, you haven't used it in a long time, send it to me, would you? I need the letters. Send me the letters. Or if you have any tiles with letters on them or whatever, the address, it's down there. All right, let's look at the names. Okay, these are the names from the book. Nelson Ware, Earl Snowen, Larson A. Harisp. When you see Harisp, you know something's going on. Aaron, or A. A. Ron, Phil Ress. So, Nelson Ware. What is it? <clears throat> what is that anagram to? Nelson. Wait a minute. Oops. Nelson, I already had an anagram. <laughs> Nelson Ware. Uh, let's try this. K. 
Okay. That's the first one. Are all snowing. What do we got? Okay. Coincidence? I think not. Now, what about Larson A. Harris? Aha! I know what you're saying. New Orleans doesn't fit. Correct. New Orleans doesn't fit. But check this out. Orleans. Parish. <clears throat> and how about A. A. Ron Phil Rest? Okay, so we got New Orleans, New Orleans, Orleans Parish, Orleans Parish. So, excuse me. Right there, we got four clues, right? And we take Bourbon Street, the first sentence of the book. And these four are by the end of the book, or toward the end of the book, by the way, or in the last chapter, next to last. And there we go. I think we know what the starting city is. finish it it's good don't get me wrong I just don't know if I can finish it <coughs> so there's five clues out of the 16 possible 16 okay what are ones some of the ones that you found uh, there's more that I have I'm just not gonna put them all in one video we're gonna split it up I got a lot of bourbon to drink so trying to think if I covered everything Pete's phone number Breakfast Tea and Bourbon's the book. Oh, I gotta clarify. The first vlog I said it was 50,000 gold coins. That's not correct. It's actually $50,000 coins. Pete will give you that or he will give you a check for $5,000. Your choice. If you don't want to deal with the weight of the coins, he'll give you a check for 50 grand. He'll also give you five grand, your favorite charity. Because it's better to give to receive or something like that. And then also, you get a hundred bottles of Lido, Lido Bay wine. It's a wine that's in the story. Can you imagine a hundred bottles? That would become the official drink of the vlog, I think. So, yeah, dollar coins, not gold coins. I did screw that up in the, in the first vlog. So, yeah, there's five clues right there. Let's go through some more. If you like the video, thumbs it up. If you like the video, take a drink. Share the video. Let other people know about it. Ugh, I had to change, boy. I got hot. Whew. I was burning up. I think I'm going to take a shower. Uh, subscribe to the videos. That way you know when the next ones come out. And more is coming. I got treasure hunts that I haven't even mentioned yet. In any of the videos we got to talk about. One of them was right here in Vegas, and not Vegas Die. There's another one. I should have had it. I was right there, and two weeks later, some knucklehead went and got it. And that's another vlog. If you like the video, thumbs it up. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Send me an email. And Pete, I'm just going to put this out there. If you want to send me a copy of Breakfast Tea and Bourbon, Breakfast Tea and Bourbon, I will do a free book giveaway. You send me a copy of the book. I will give it away to one of the viewers of the vlog for free. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. I got to finish it, right? Cheers again.
Ooh. <coughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Where's it at? <clears throat>